Today was a first alert weather alert day because of the second storm system of the week that was bringing rain, wind and snow to both San Bernardino and Riverside counties. At this hour, though, that cold front has pushed down towards the southeast and the rain is no longer a part of our forecast for tonight. We're still going to be experiencing plenty of clouds overhead, but the wet weather is headed away from us. But here's a look at some of the rainfall totals that have been recorded. Keenwild up by Mountain Center, a half inch of rain. Cab is on through the San Gorgonio Pass, more than three tenths of an inch. And then downtown Palm Springs, four one hundredths of an inch. So it's certainly those locations that were closest to the mountains because Palm Springs Airport just a little bit farther towards the east, only recording trace amounts of rain. So very minimal accumulation here on the valley floor, but other locations through the pass for the mountains, much more notable, creating those slick conditions out on the roadways, plus with some gusty wind. So Whitewater had a peak gust of 57 miles per hour, Desert Hot Springs 39 miles per hour, and in Thousand Palms here at the KESQ studio, 28 miles per hour. So a bit of wind out there, not anything terribly extreme, but when you pair that with wet weather, it does cause concern out on the roadways. Now through the rest of this evening, it's still going to be breezy out there. We're looking at our gust. 20 to 30 mile per hour range, especially for more of our wind prone locations other uh, everywhere else, just a bit of a breeze out there uh, generally under that. And then those winds are going to be weakening as we head overnight into our Friday. Our Friday is really shaping up to be a very nice day as that area of low pressure moves off towards the east, but colder air is going to be left behind. So get ready for lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s as we close out the work week and even head into the weekend. More of the same, even though we're going to be having plenty of sunshine out there. So those clouds will no longer be a part of our weather story, but we're still going to be feeling Feeling, well, pretty much like December, feeling a little bit like winter out there, especially come late Friday into Saturday morning. A freeze watch has been issued for the high desert. Now we're talking about temperatures that are going to be dropping below freezing, below 32 degrees. So sensitive plants, vegetation likely to be killed. Make sure you take any precautions to cover them. Same with outdoor plumbing. It's not too often that we're talking about a freeze watch, but here is the opportunity to make sure that you are either wrapping your outdoor pipes or allowing them to drip or draining them, especially sprinkler systems up there is anything that is going to be exposed that has the potential of bursting. So again, that is late Friday into Saturday morning till about 8 a.m. On your Comfort Air 7 day forecast, temperatures in the 60s are following us through the weekend. With those incredibly cool mornings, throw an extra blanket on the bed by next Tuesday. That's when our next rain event will be arriving, and this one looking to be much more impactful than system one and two that we've experienced this week. Next week, we could be seeing a quarter of an inch or more of rain falling right here on the valley floor. So, Jen, Peter, that is something the First Alert weather team will be tracking very closely. Any concern, Haley, about possible flooding? Anytime we are talking about uh, amounts greater than a tenth of an inch, especially here in the valley, we are going to be concerned about flood risk, especially with the mountains and runoff. The water goes into the wash as it should, but we do have roadways that go through the wash. So it's always something to just be aware of. If there's going to be rain in the area, there's the potential for uh, flooding. Good to know. All right, you'll keep us posted. Thanks, Haley.